Very, Robbie, very quickly, because uh, Pink is about to perform, uh, but can you just quickly tell us uh, the story about being in L.A. and uh, meeting the gangster? Yeah. So, um, I, in Los Angeles, before children, I used to have this house that was just for football. I had a football pitch in the back. This and is it, so rock and roll. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. A, special, a special house for football. A special house for football. And then the kids came and that was the end of that. That was the end of the fun. <laughs> and um, so I'm up there one evening playing football and there's a lot of people up there, small drive. Somebody's parked on the drive and my neighbour can't get his car up the drive. My neighbour is uh, Joey Pesci. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, here, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the exact look that he gave as he turned into the football pitch with a nine iron and came out every... You mother... I'll do this. You mother... <laughs> car, I don't fuck... And it was, it was absolutely terrifying because, you know, he does that face so well. And I was absolutely mortified and pretended it wasn't my house. <laughs> I don't know, I was an idiot, the guy that owns the place. But you should and, have been like Macaulay Culkin and done all these booby traps for him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think. So I, I'm, I'm now... I sort of scarper and I get out of there. And uh, the next day, I hastily arrange a sign that says no parking, and I, I stick it down so everybody knows, including Mr Joey Pesci, sorry, mate, that, um, you know, that I was doing something to stop this from happening. That evening, I went to uh, an Italian restaurant, and a guy came over to me, and he went, ''Hey, I really like what you did for Joey.'' <laughs> So now I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm socially awkward and socially unaware, and I'm now proper shitting myself. <laughs> and I'm, I'm watching people as they leave the restaurant kind of go up to him and sort of kiss him like this. And like 20 people have done it, and I don't, I don't want to go to the loo because <laughs> I don't want him to see me again. <laughs> and I like, I don't, and as I'm leaving, I think I, I must go to the loo, I can do it. So I go to the loo, and I'm coming back, and as I'm, as I'm leaving this Italian restaurant, we stand up a yeah, sec. Sure. He stood on some stairs, this guy, this gangster dude, and I sort of like was so nervous. I, I went over to him and just went. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adam's apple. <laughs>